Welcome back. It's time for our good news story. Our next guest is taking on life's challenges with the same veracity that he brought to the gridiron. Please welcome Eric Legrand to the show. Eric, great to see you, my friend. Hey, great to be on, guys. So let's start going back 10 years ago. You suffered a severe spinal injury. Tell us what happened, Eric. Yeah, I was facing the Army Black Knights at MetLife Stadium in the fourth quarter of a game, going down the field to make a tackle. Put my head down there, didn't think it was going to be in a tackle at all. And the, my teammate tripped the guy up, and the body trajectory changed. And the crown of my head went into the back of his shoulder blade. Malcolm Brown of the Army Black Knights said, I fractured my C3, C4 vertebrae. They told me I'd be paralyzed for the rest of my life and never do this and never do that. And I'm just continuing to overcome the obstacles each and every day. So, Eric, tell us, what are some of the things that the doctor said that you could never do? They told me I would never walk again. I would never breathe on my own. I would never eat solid foods, and they were hoping that I was even strong enough to make it through the surgery, but pretty much told me that I would never live a normal life. And, and what have you done? Have you overcome some of those challenges? I have. I've actually, you know, five weeks later, I was able to breathe on my own. That thing, I got hurt on October 16th. That Thanksgiving, I was able to eat a full solid meal with my family. Then I actually, I had a Super Bowl party that year up at Kessler Institute in West Orange, New Jersey. I remember I lifted my shoulder just a little bit to now. I'm moving over here. I'm shimmy shaking. I'm dancing around. So I like things it. have definitely come back to me slowly, slowly but surely. So you're obviously a motivational speaker because you are able, if you're able to motivate yourself, I always think like the self is the biggest obstacle, right? You're able to motivate yourself. What do you say to people that you're trying to motivate? I tell them that they have to look at a life with a, a newfound of appreciation. Realize all the things that you can do in your life. Don't focus on the things that you can't do. And if it's something that you really want, you have to work your butt off to get it. Because no matter what you're going through in your life, no matter what, there is always someone that has it worse than you. And if you can look at it through that lens, and you'll realize, you know, wow, I have a pretty blessed life. I can do some great things because there are a lot of people that are praying to be able to do the things that you can do or the things that we complain about. When you look at it that, that type of way, you'll see those days start to add up when you continue to have a great day. And, I had a great, um, my D-line coach when I was at Rutgers, Gary Emanuel, told us, every day above ground is a good day. I take that to heart now, that's for sure. Wow. That's, that's a great message. Yeah. We are reading your shirt there, La Grand Coffee House. We know you're starting your own business. We love coffee. It's why we get up in the morning. <laughs> okay, so uh -huh. tell us about this gig. Yeah, so I started La Grand Coffee House. It started with a plan back in July with a bunch of my friends sending pictures of coffee to our group message. And I was never a big coffee drinker, but I love cafes. And the opportunity, opportunity presented itself in my hometown of Woodbridge, New Jersey, where I might be able to open up my own cafe. Here we are now six months later and I opened up our online business on January 12th, my niece's fifth birthday. And let's just say, business has been booming. It's been really, it's been really, it's been really good. It's been really good. So thank you for that and I'm just, Yes, I can't wait until we open up our brick and mortar store from probably around the end of the summer, looking around August. Please let us know because we'd love to come. We would love to come and support your business any way we can. I'm so excited and happy for you. And you're you're uh, you're not just uh, inspirational to everyone, to us, uh, to your family and anyone that knows you. And uh, we, we just uh, are so looking forward to seeing what's next for you. I, I appreciate that. I got a nice surprise for you guys after the show's over that actually we'll be giving you guys some of our La Grand Coffee House coffee. Oh, my God. It just got better in well, here. Yes, sir. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, brother. Good to see you, man. You take Good care of yourself. You we'll look forward to that coffee after the show. We'll be right yes. back here. Stay with us.